Good morning, everyone. My name is Lucille Barone, and I'm a licensed practitioner here at the Centre. So thank you for joining us here in the sanctuary or from the comfort of your home or wherever over the love stream. I have the privilege of being practitioner on this very special day, which is New Member Sunday, the day we officially welcome and celebrate all the new members into our community. So a special welcome for those new members that are here in meditation. I drew inspiration for this meditation from a book by Dr. Jim Lockhart, Creating the Beloved Community. He's a retired spirit Center for Spiritual Living minister. And that phrase, the beloved community, was first coined by a philosopher in the 1800s and then popularized by um, Martin Luther King. And he wrote about, and Jim Lockhart wrote about it, a key element in the beloved community is the concept of safe space. In the spiritual context, safe space is not about eliminating discomfort. It is about providing a supportive space where we can experience the inevitable discomfort of deep personal introspection and spiritual growth with support and understanding. So I hope each of you experience Calgary CSL as one of your spiritual safe places. So before we settle in, let's just shake off the busyness of the morning. It sure is dusty out there now that it stopped snowing. So just do this little physical thing and everyone chuckles, but everyone feels better. Just shake, go down your body and connect with it and shake off the dust and settle into your chair and to prepare our bodies and minds for meditation let's do a few rounds of box breathing that's where we breathe in for a count of four hold for a count of four breathe out for a count of four hold for a count of four so I'll lead you in a few rounds and then you can do a few on your own pace. So breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and breathe out, two, three, four. Breathe in, two, three, four, Hold, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four. And I invite you to do a few more rounds at your own pace. So now check in with your body. You might need to settle into the chair a bit differently to be more comfortable, so just take that extra little effort to make yourself as comfortable and relaxed as possible. So here in this stillness, I drop down into that deepest most place, the highest most place within me. The God within me is unified with the God in all. This one is now drawing into my life all love and fellowship. I am one with all people, with all things, with all life. This great love that I feel is the love of God or divine presence, eternal spirit. I am surrounded by all love, all companionship, all health, all happiness, all success. I am one with this life. And as I listen in the silence, this voice of the one life speaks to me and answers the love that I hold out to it. We are now moving into our period of silent meditation. And if uninvited thoughts arrive in your consciousness, 
Don't pay them any mind. Just allow them to come and come to pass, like fallen leaves floating downstream. Do a few rounds of box breathing to help connect back into your body and release them.
I know that I am beloved and loved. I feel at home with God and in God. Today is filled with blessings for myself and others. The past is gone and I gladly let it go. The present is filled with peace and joy. The future is filled with hope. Gratefully, I accept this divine love and this divine givingness, and I extend them to everyone I meet. I am an active part of the cycle of love, the cycle of giving and receiving, here at the center and everywhere I go. So slowly bring your awareness back into the room. Check in with your body and reconnect with it. Wiggle your toes and fingers. Shake out your hands. Step your feet. Circle your head. Breathe deeply. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Jim Lockhart wrote that for us to be fully in spiritual community means spending a lot of time alone in spiritual practices and exploration. So I hope that your experience here in meditating in community inspires you in your personal meditation practice the other days of the week. So thank you to each of you for, for coming here and preparing this physical space for our celebration today, for our learning and teaching today and our music and yeah, just unity. Um, and also those of you in the love stream for elevating the energy of your own personal space. Namaste. Good morning, folks. My name's Martin Kerr. It's lovely to see you again. I'm going to sing you a new song. I wrote this with a couple of friends of mine in Nashville, along with their nine-month-old baby who wouldn't go down for her nap. And the baby wrote the best part of the song, and it goes like this. So can you do that with me? Oh, yeah. Let me hear you now. I love it. Ah, uh, we wrote this song called The Good Stuff. I know it's been lonely. Yeah, I know it's been rough. I know you're going to show me how to get back to the good stuff. We've been trying to go solo. But it wasn't enough Could we get off of that high road And get back to the good stuff A little more hope, a little more gladness A little more smile, a little less sadness in your heart You know Lately, I've been wanting to hold you For you a little bit closer Whatever happens now, we're going to make it together. Right now, we don't even need to know how. Follow the sun and then somehow, we'll figure out our forever. And get back to the, ah, ooh. Get back to the good stuff. Ah, ooh. We'll get back to the good stuff. Going out on a limb now Living off the cuff 
I want to dive right in with you and get back to the good stuff. Giving more love, doing more kindness, giving more hugs, doing more shining in the dark. You know, lately I've been wanting to hold you, pull you a little bit closer. Whatever happens now, we're going to make it together. Right now, we don't even need to know how. Follow the sun and then somehow we'll figure out our forever and get back to the Ooh, get back to the good stuff. Ah, ooh. Seeing old friends, taking new chances, setting new trends, doing old dances in the street. Let's go. Cause lately I've been wanting to hold you, pull you a little bit closer. Whatever happens now, we're gonna make it together. Right now. We don't even need to know how Follow the sun and then somehow We'll figure out our forever And get back to the Ah, ooh Get back to the good stuff Ah, ooh Well, can we get back to the good stuff? Ah, ooh We're getting back to the good stuff Ah, ooh We'll get back to the good stuff That was Martin Kerr. Boy, oh boy, what a great way to start. Hi, everybody. How are you? I'm back. I was gone last week. I was there for my nephew's wedding, which was absolutely amazing. We were in Pasadena, California, and uh, my new niece-in-law is Armenian. She's of Armenian heritage. So the wedding and the reception had that flavor to it. And as she used to describe it, she said, it's like my big fat Greek wedding. And, f and it was. I mean, we had belly dancers. We had um, the flowers, the music, drums playing, dancing all night. It was absolutely incredible. In fact, the priest at the uh, Armenian uh, uh, service said, you all have heard of my big fat w uh, Greek wedding. And he goes, some people think that that is, a, uh, is fiction. To us, it's a documentary. And... <laughs> And it was that. It was so much fun. So anyway, I had fun without you. Sorry. But I understand that you guys had a great time, too. I want to thank Reverend Monica, who I know is wa uh, watching on the love stream. Thank you so much for filling in. And we have a lot of new people today, so I should probably introduce myself. I'm Pat Campbell, and I am the spiritual director. I told this lady I'm the chief bottle washer, except for I don't wash bottles. Um, <laughs> thank you. I thought that was funny, too. Uh, uh, anyway, I'm the spiritual director of the center. And if you haven't been to a center for spiritual living, there's a few things you need to know. First and foremost, we are a faith tradition. We don't call our ourselves a religion. We are a faith tradition that honors all faith traditions. We understand that there is a golden thread of truth, of something that goes through all faith traditions. So wherever you are on your spiritual path, you're absolutely welcome here. In fact, we are going to sing what we call our Kong song, which addresses that completely. So let's stand up and we're going to sing This Door is Open to You. If you don't know it, don't worry about it. Just dance along. No matter where you come from, no matter where you're going, here's a place where you can take the comfort in the knowing. Whether if you come to stay a while, just pass through. This door is open to you. Now come and let's be silent. Come and share a hug. Come, let's pray together. Come love and be loved. From the blissed out to the turn up, from the pampered to the abused, this door is open to you. Come on in, come on in. The God in us recognizes the God in you. No matter you're black or white, gay or straight, Christian, Buddhist or Jew, 
this door is open to you. If there's some kind of trouble or pain you're going through, know that you are not alone and someone cares for you as an individualization of divine point of view. This door is open to you. 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 Come on in. Come on in. The God in us recognizes the God in you. So whether you're black or white, gay or straight, Christian, Buddhist, or Jew, this door open to you. <laughs> yeah, I do love that song. It kind of wraps it all up, doesn't it? Absolutely wonderful. So folks, we have so many things that are happening here in the center right now, and I'm going to have to kind of blast through them. So if you miss anything, please look on the newsletter, look on the website, because all the information that you need should be there. So the first thing is our AGM, our a annual general meeting, is next Sunday, April 21st, right after service. So if you are a member, please make sure that you're here or make sure you fill out a proxy. Uh, we're going to be electing new board members. We're going to be learning about our finances, celebrating our wins for the year, which have been phenomenal, and hear about the future ideas and plans that we have going on. So if you are a member, please make sure to be here uh, or fill out a proxy, and that includes our Love Stream people, which I forgot to say hi to. Hi, Love Stream. Love you. Love you guys. So that's our AGM, which is next week right after the, the service. And then we are having a community potluck following that. So the AGM should be over by about 1.15, 1.30, so make sure you got your hunger. And then uh, we're going to have our community potluck, and we need some volunteers for that. So if you are able to help set up or break down, you can see Sandra and Neil Butler uh, about that. And the other thing is, I, I'm so glad uh, that we put this in. Please note, when bringing a hot I uh, item, due, due to timing, it's best to have it in a crock pot or something similar that can keep it warm. In other words, we're not going to stick a bunch of things in the, um, in the oven and have our AGM and then have our potluck afterwards. So bring something to share with everybody and get to know the other members of uh, our community. Everybody's welcome to the AGM, but only members uh, can cast votes. So that is next Sunday, uh, right after the service, and then the, the potluck. So Sandra, do you have anything you want to say about that? Yes, so we're gonna, definitely going to need some volunteers, so please uh, see Sandra and Neil about helping out with that. Uh, Journey of the Soul is an accredited uh, Centers for Spiritual Living course that is starting on April 24th. It's being taught by two of our practitioners, Lance Rath and Sabrina Morrow. And it's based, I know, it's based on a book by Patrick Harbula called Magic of the Soul. It's a six-week course, and this is an accredited course. So if you have ideas of moving on within the movement, this would be a course for you to take. Uh, it's $190. The book is $29. And you can send in an e-transfer to register or go on the line and register that way. That's the easiest way to do it. That starts on April 20, 24th. And then on April the 28th, Doug, Reverend Doug Craig is going to be doing a uh, uh, workshop on change. So, Doug, Doug, you want to come up and tell them about your class coming up. Give him a hand. Good morning. Anybody here going through any change right now? Okay, well, one of the main things about change is we go through it all the time, but it's really a technique of understanding and managing it that really helps. And uh, I've been involved in this philosophy and teaching right here at the Center for over 44 years, so I do have some tidbits of wisdom along the way. But the one key thing I'll be debuting that I really haven't uh, shared a whole lot with in the group before 
is a personal technique that was given to me uh, about breaking free of the past. Uh, anybody here have the same thing happen to you over and over again and wonder why? Or the same person come into your life? Yeah. Well, you probably want to be here uh, and learn that technique because I can tell you it's extremely powerful. So looking forward to seeing you all and it might be a change, but I'll guarantee you it'll be a change after you've done it. <laughs> Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Doug. He keeps telling me he's been in the teaching for 44 years and has some wisdom, and I've just been calling him a wiseacre. So, uh, uh, so anyway, this is after service on uh, April 28th. It's those um, just after service workshops that we've been having. So you can and love offering is twenty dollars. Okay, I know, I know. So Amy texted me yesterday. And said, oh my God, I can't believe it. I have double booked myself. I know. Martin's like, could that ever happen? And I said to her, well, just dump them. <laughs> and she said, I booked them first. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, it is canceled for now. We are looking at a time when we can reschedule it because I, we already sold about 25 tickets. So... Um, if you have been planning to go do something else that night, uh, if you've already bought tickets, they will be refunded either e transfer or through um, Eventbrite. So, yeah, bummer. And it's not happening. So, there. Uh, <laughs> And then our online community groups, uh, s several of these groups started during the pandemic, and we've just kept them going just as we have the love stream, because our love stream people are just as much as part of our community as the people who are here online, and that also includes our online group. So on uh, Saturday mornings, our Saging Circle, which is for our seniors, 55 and above, discussion group, uh, Consciousness Seekers, facilitated by Ron Hahn, is Monday evenings at seven o'clock and then coffee with me dr pat wednesdays at noon all the login information and everything is on the website and in the newsletter so i think i got that all done so what we're going to do now we're going to kind of transition from business to spiritual and so we have a strong spiritual arm of this center it is, got, it is it, it, when I first got here, it was Reverend Marjorie and me. And now look at this list of people who are here to be in service uh, to you. So I'd like to invite our ordained ministers for, uh, forward, Reverend Val Benedict, Reverend Darlene Chase, Reverend he uh, Dr. Heather Clark, Reverend Marjorie Contenti, Reverend Doug Craig, whom you met, Reverend Monica Cromer, Reverend Leslie McNamara, and then our licensed practitioners, our Amy Bishop, Connie Chow, Pelle Glamini, Ron Hahn, Valda Harris, Sabrina Morrow, Tracy Peterson, Lance Rath, Gail Verdi, Fran Watson, and Lucille Verone. Look at this group of people. Yowza is all I got to say. So what we're going to do now is Steph is going to lead us in a chant and then Lucille will give us our opening spiritual mind treatment, which is a form of prayer. Love reflecting love. One with the divine. Peace expressing heaven bright. Light reflecting light, love reflecting love. I am one with the divine, peace expressing heaven bright. I am. Love reflecting love, light reflecting light. 
There is one love, one light, one life in our universe. And I am one with it. And the words I speak, I speak in the first person, in the I. In the place of each one of us here, if it resonates with you. I know that I live, move, and have my being in this one light, this one love, this one joy, this one abundance. And as I open my heart to receive more of it from the divine eternal source, more of it flows out into my world. Right here, right now, we're gathered today to welcome those who have said yes to being a member of this Calgary Center for Spiritual Living. They said yes to, this is my spiritual home. And I know that the fellowship, companionship, the support, the love, the acceptance that you receive here is but a foretaste of the wider world that works for everyone. And we know that we need to be the change that we want to see in the world. And so here at the center, we get to practice this acceptance, this givingness and receivingness, this mutual support. And it just gives us an idea of what is possible for the wider world. It renews us and it strengthens us. So after we leave here, we go out into the world, into our families, into our workplaces, into all that we do in a more elevated consciousness, a deeper awareness, a broader sense of love and joy. So I release these words. I'm grateful for the knowingness. I'm grateful for this delicious experience of community, of belonging, of unity. And so I release these words knowing that they are already so as I have spoken them. And together we affirm, and so it is. The reflecting love, one with the divine, peace expressing heaven bright, light reflecting light. Thank you, staff. Thank you, Lucille. And thank you, beloveds, for being here in support of our center and particularly of our new members. Thank you. We have a guest musician today. You had a chance to hear him uh, at the opening. He's just such a delight. He is such a delightful singer. He's got great grand consciousness, and he happened to be in Calgary today, so we snagged him up to come and do our music for us. So please welcome Martin Kerr. Thank you, friends. It's great to be back here with you. Always a pleasure to, uh, to join this community. Um, it's been a while, but, but a few of you have seen me before, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, and some new friends as well, I'm sure. Um, one of the things I want to tell you about while I'm here is that uh, I'm coming back to Calgary um, Friday after next. That's the 26th of April to do a full show at the Grand Theatre, which is a beautiful historic theatre down on First Street, and I would love to invite you all to come. Um, so if you enjoy what you hear and you'd like to hear the full show, um, you should come and get tickets out uh, in the lobby afterwards, and uh, I'll be happy to tell you all about it. This song here um, is called Never Not Enough, and uh, I need you. I need you guys to join me on this one. I need you to transform yourselves into the Calgary Gospel Choir, <laughs> if you can try that. And uh, your part goes like this. This love, this love is all we've got. This love, 
This love is never not enough. This love is all we've got. This love, this love is never not enough. That's your part. Now you've heard it once, you'll join in nice and loud. If you're a shy singer, I find it helps to just close your eyes and double the volume. I've been thinking about me and you. We've been sinking. What are we gonna do? So much hurting, so much crying. Is it worth it even trying? I don't wanna lose a friend. I don't wanna keep pretending we're okay. I don't wanna let you down. I don't want to watch you drown again. Don't slip away from me. Don't slip away. This love, this love is all we've got. This love, this love is never not enough. This love is all we've got. This love, this love is never not enough. I've been hoping there's still a way we could hold on. There's gonna be a better day. So much living we gotta do. I won't give in when I'm holding you. I don't wanna lose a friend. I don't wanna keep pretending we're okay. I don't wanna let you down. I don't want to watch you drown again. Don't slip away from me. Don't slip away. This love, this love is all we got. This love, this love is never not enough. This love is all we got. This love, this love is never not enough. Everyone thinks we crave. I don't know why I still believe. I still believe. We got a love worth saving. I swear you stuck with me. This love, this love is all we've got. This love, this love is never not enough. This love is all we've got. people think that we bring in ringers for special days like today and no we don't bring in ringers this is our band this is our music we did bring in Martin and it was still to be accompanied by musicians of that caliber you better believe they are really something and who, who only heard the song an hour ago I know So incredible. So would you breathe with me, please? Take in a deep breath.
and again. And one more time at your own pace. Feels good, doesn't it? After that beautiful song about this love is never not enough, and then we breathe that in together. I love it. So I think I announced to you a couple of weeks ago that um, I've celebrated my 11th year being here in Calgary. And one, I know, I know. Sometimes it feels like yesterday, and sometimes it feels like I've always been here. Uh, and one of the things that continues to thrill me and something that I absolutely love, now don't laugh, is the thousands upon thousands of Canada geese that fill the sky. I mean, maybe they do it in the morning. I see them at night when I'm driving home. Maybe they do it in the morning. I'm never up at that time. And I realize for those of you who grew up with Canada geese, it's no big deal. You might even not notice them. I know they're messy. I know they're mean. I <laughs> they're noisy. But I got to tell you, seeing them fly it continues to thrill me even today. There's something about them flying in that formation together, honking at each other. Did I just honk? <laughs> Maybe they're my totem animal. I don't know. <laughs> but it moves me every time I'm like, hi, guys. Hi, good to see you. So to open today's service... I thought maybe I would share a great teaching story that's called Lessons from Geese. So goose lesson number one. As each goose flaps its wings, it creates an uplift for the birds that follow. By flying in a V formation, the whole flock adds 71% greater flying range than if each bird flew alone. Everybody go like this. Hmm. Human lesson, people who share a common direction and a sense of community can get where they are going quicker and easier because they are traveling on the thrust of one another. Oh, I'm not done yet. Save your applause. Goose lesson number two, when a goose falls out of formation, it suddenly feels the drag and resistance of flying alone. It quickly moves back into formation to take advantage of the lifting power of the bird in front of it. Human lesson, if we have as much common sense as a goose, we stay in formation with those headed where we want to go. We are willing to accept their help and give our help to others. Don't applaud yet. We're not done. <laughs> goose lesson number three. When the lead goose tires, it rotates back into the formation and another goose flies to the point position. Human lesson. It pays to take turns doing the hard task. Did we say that we need help for the potluck? It pays to take turns doing the hard task and sharing leadership. As with geese, people are interdependent on each other's skills, capabilities, and unique arrangements of gifts, talents, and resources. Goose lesson number four, when a goose gets sick, wounded or shot down, two geese drop out of formation and follow it down to help protect it. They stay with it until it dies or is able to fly again. Then they launch out with another formation or catch up with their original flock. Oh, I didn't do that one, sorry. Human lessons. If again we have as much sense as geese, we will stand by each other in difficult times as well as when we are strong. And finally, goose lesson number five. Geese flying in formation honk to encourage those up front to keep up their speed. Human lesson. We need to make sure our honking is encouraging. 
In groups where there is encouragement, the production is much greater. The power of encouragement to stand by one's heart and core values and encourage the heart and core of others is the quality of honking that we seek. I know you're dying to do it. On a count of three. Honk, 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 honk. <laughs> So I love this story. I love this story anyway, but I think it's particularly uh, pertinent to a day like today where we have, are you ready for this, 30 new members to our community. 33-0. How cool is that? You know, if all y'all showed up on the same day, can you imagine what this ruined? If every person who is a member of our center showed up on the same day, we'd have to do two services. Woohoo! <laughs> so when I do a new member Sunday, I always think back to when I decided to join my first spiritual community as an adult. And I got to tell you, it was a big, big deal for me because I hadn't wanted anything to do with organized religion for a really long time. Does that describe anybody else? Yes, yeah, like, no, thank you, no, thank you. And yet, like so many of you, when I walked into my first Center for Spiritual Living, it was in October of 1988, the Vista Church of Religious Science, beautiful A-framed church, and I walked in, and I heard the music, and I listened to the message, and I knew I was home. Yeah, yeah. I was so thrilled to find a group of people who believed the way that I believed. For so long, I thought I was the only one. So to find an entire community of like-minded people felt like coming home. Starhawk wrote this, community, somewhere there are people to whom we can speak with passion without having the words catch in our throats. Somewhere a circle of hands will open to receive us. Eyes will light up as we enter. Voices will celebrate with us whenever we come into our own power. Community means strength that joins our strength to do the work that needs to be done. Arms to hold us when we falter. A circle of healing. A circle of friends. Some place where we can be free. And I like to think that's what we provide here, a circle of healing, a circle of friends, a place where we can be free. And I'm sure that it's one of the reasons why our new members have chosen to officially become part of this spiritual community. And you're going to have to have a chance to meet them in just a few moments. But first, I wanted to look at yet another reason why so many of us feel like we need to be part of a spiritual community like this. One of the basics of our teaching, I probably say it every week, so forgive me for the repetition. But you know, <laughs> when there's like only one lesson and talking about it 52 times a year, for 25 plus years, <laughs> maybe I repeat myself, but the truth is the universe created everything out of itself, and that means that everything there is came from that one source, and that means we are part of it. Yes? Can I get a woohoo? Woo okay. Honk, honk, honk. <laughs> So that's one of the reasons why we feel the need to be birds of a feather because we are already part of each other. We can't get away from that. We cannot escape it. We are part of the divine. Therefore, we are part of each other. This is true for the people and the things that we like. It's also true for the people and the things we're not so crazy about because like it or not we are in this thing called life together we need each other 
We need each other. We need the energy of others to be happy, to be healthy, to live in joy. Uh, Kung Fu, uh, no, not Kung Fu, Taekwondo uh, master Mitsugi Saotome said this. If you were all alone in the universe with no one to talk to, no one with which to share the beauty of the stars, to laugh with, to touch, what would be the purpose of your life? It is other life. It is love, which keeps your life, which gives your life meaning. This is harmony. We must discover the joy of each other. In other words, we humans, we are social beings. We are social, and we feel best when we have a connection with other living beings. And sometimes we may find ourselves in situations when we are with people that we may love, but with whom we don't have a whole lot in common. Does that sound at all familiar? Maybe at work, maybe at school, maybe at home, maybe in your neighborhood. Maybe they're a different faith tradition and they're having trouble accepting yours or vice versa. Maybe they're not open to your ideas and your beliefs or vice versa. Maybe they're trying to change you or make you wrong or vice versa. It's an important point to make. This is where, though, that we can exercise the personal choice. We may not be able to choose who we're related to or who we sit next to in school or who we work with or who lives next door, but we can choose who we hang out with. We can choose who we spend our optional time with. We can choose the community we want to be part of. Seneca, associate with people who are likely to improve you. Welcome those who you are capable of improving. The process is a mutual one. Men and women learn as they teach. So hang out with people who are likely to improve you and whom you can improve. So if you want to attract the people who think like you, you need to spend time where they spend time. For instance, take a class. Oh, don't look at that one yet. Um, <clears throat> Take a class. Sign up for Lance's class and Sabrina's class. Sign up for Doug's class. Do anything. Come to the potluck. Do anything where you are hanging around with people of like mind. Go to the Friday night drumming group in Inglewood. It's fabulous. Go to, to practice yoga. Wherever you do, you are with people of like mind. Go to the singing bowls. There is a gal that does singing bowls in a yurt that's like a tent a big giant dome out in Cochrane how, how many of you have been there it's absolutely fabulous it is I, I can't describe what it's like but these these are our people these are our people there comes the slide flock where your flock flocks <laughs> So today, we are welcoming 30 new geese into our flock. So I'm going to call their names. And folks, what you're going to do is that we're not going to, we're going to encroach on Martin's space here. So we are just going to fill this whole space here if in person. If you are on the love stream, what I'm going to ask that when I call your name, you put into the chat, I'm here, or something like this. And then either Jason or Ben will say their names once, uh, once we uh, go through the entire list. So 
a lot of moving parts, so just bear with me here, and please forgive me if I mispronounce your name. I practice them. It might also be misspelled. We did our best. So here we go. You guys ready? New members, are you ready? Have you finished your interpretive dance rehearsal? <laughs> Roxy Anderson. Okay, here's what we're going to do. You know what? It'll take us all more. No, you keep coming. Keep coming. I'm going to talk while you walk up here. Um, we're not going to applaud after every person, but we might do something once we've got everybody complete and completely up here. But otherwise, we'll be here all night, so ro or all day. Roxy Anderson, Maria Ashton, Verley Astley. Imagine Verley is uh, online. Linda Bint. Cheryl Catro, Brandon Evans, Kim Fairless, Lana Fair, Blair Gallant, Matrika Gatam, David Goddard, Susan Hahn, Connell Hanchero, Crystal uh, Hupe, Janet Kilpatrick, Lori Kirk, Lynn Lossell, Tammy McEwen, Sue McQueen. Yeah, you can come, come here because it's fine. Sabrina Milavoy, Manuel Redman, Ellen Scott, Lucette Simpson. Davin Soderkirst, excuse me, Soderquist, Carrie Stenson, Sue Stiles, Courtney Thrasher, and Vonnie McKelvey. So, um, a tech deck, guys, did anybody check in with us for the love stream? Well, we feel a little bit like romper room up here looking in our magic window. <laughs> and we see Lori Kirk, who says, I love you, my flock. <laughs> and that's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Lori, for checking in. And now, give them a hand. been handed, I need one too, now that I think of it. I don't want one of yours, thank you. I, yeah. They're going to say a pledge, I didn't tell them this, they're going to say a pledge to you, the community, and what I would like you, the community, and love, okay, you guys, where the love stream is, see where it says on air? Yeah. Just go to about two o'clock at the very end of the fence up there. And that's where the love stream camera is. So you're going to be saying this to everybody. And all of you, I would like you to just be in your most loving and open stance and consciousness as our new members say these words to you. You guys ready? I'll lead you to. We promise to be the best members of the Calgary Center for Spiritual Living that we can possibly be. We promise to support this center and this ministry with our time, talent, and treasures. We promise to live our lives by the principles of science of mind to the best of our abilities. Knowing that God is at the essence of each of us, we also promise to love you, respect you, and always look for the good in each of you. Thank you for welcoming us into your hearts. But wait, there's more. <laughs> the interpretive dance, no. You, the members and friends of the center, 
are now going to stand and say a pledge to our new members and it's going to be right up here on the screen and you can make as as good of eye contact thank you uh pledge of new members no we want pledge of existing members and so i'm going to stand over here and i'm going to be a, one of the existing members and we're going to say this to you all our new members you guys ready okay we, the members and friends of the Calvary Center for Spiritual Living, honor your decision to become part of our spiritual community. Knowing that love is the essence of each of us, we promise to love you, respect you, and always look for the good in you. Thank you for adding our lives to yours. Welcome home to your spiritual hand. I, I was a little verklempt. I even wrote it. So you may, you may be seated, and I'm going to, you don't have to do this, only if you want to. One or two or four words. One, two, or four, not 27. Just anything you want to say to your to your community. Oh wait, let's get the mic. Let's get the mic going. Try it again. Are we on? Okay, we are. Uh, first of all, thank you. Acceptance. Home. Heart. Love. Welcoming. Um, and acceptance. I just want to say thank you to all of you for welcoming and loving me for who I am. Thanks. I'm so very happy to be part of this community. Thank you. Home, love, connection. Love, gratitude, and joy. Well, Dr. Pat, I can't do it in four words. <laughs> <laughs> you already passed the four words. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I could feel it in my heart today. Thank you. Uh, message and acceptance. Thank you. Thank you. I love it here. <laughs> Super glad to be here. Thank you. Thank you all. Okay, now we're ready to do the real thing. Are you ready? One, two, three. Honk, 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 honk. <laughs> Thank you. You may be seated. You feel good? So um, thank you all. Thank you so very much. And uh, the, the song that Martin and, and Elevation is going to do is one of his more well-known songs. And it just fits so perfectly for today. So please welcome again to the stage Martin Kerr and Elevation. <laughs> Folks, this song is called You're Amazing. We have a lot of amazing folks here today. If you haven't heard this before, um, I wrote this for my wife, and I wrote it because she told me to. <laughs> she was very specific about the title. It had to be called You're Amazing. Um, but today, we're singing it for you, for this community, and especially for our new members. So I won't teach you the chorus because it's super easy. You'll pick it up the first time you hear it, uh, but join in nice and loud. One day, we'll be looking back on this and we'll say, aren't you happy that we did it our way? Everyone we knew was saying no way, but we were never listening anyway. So don't be just standing in the doorway. Don't you know we gotta hit the highway? Darling, this is gonna be a good day. 
And I've got to say that I'm not bad myself, but you're amazing, you're amazing. One day I'll be looking back on this and I'll say, I'm so happy that you said you would stay. There were times I know that I was crazy, fraying at the edges and you saved me. I'm losing count of chances that you gave me. You're laughing at me, dancing really badly. Telling me the reasons why you'd gladly do it all again Cause I'm not bad myself But you're amazing, you're amazing Did you get it yet? Give it a try I'm not bad myself But you're amazing, you're amazing Oh well, hey, words could never adequately convey Everything you're giving to me today A holding you is better than a holiday And leaving you I dread it like it's end day So at the risk of sounding kind of risque Everything to now has been the foreplay Darling, I would follow you to Norway Or anywhere you want it Cause I'm not bad myself But you're amazing You're amazing All together now I'm not bad you're amazing, you're amazing. Solo. We had real trumpets on the recording. I'm not bad myself, but you're amazing. You're amazing. Sing it to somebody next to you. I'm not bad myself, but you're amazing. You're amazing. Look them in the eyes. Make it awkward. I'm not bad myself, but you're amazing. You're amazing. Turn around and choose somebody else. I'm not bad myself, but you're amazing. Someone else again. Oh, I'm not bad myself, but you're amazing. You're amazing. For all the new members. I'm not bad myself, but you're amazing. You're amazing. One more time. I'm not bad myself, but you're amazing. You're amazing. One day, when we're getting wrinkly and our hair's grey, a rusty old banger in the driveway, one of us will maybe wear a toupee, and I will still be loving you. Yowza. So, Martin, you're not so bad yourself, but I'm amazing. No. <laughs> oh, golly, that was a lot of fun. <sighs> you feel good? Hunkalicious? So now comes a time for me to be able to tell you how you can support the center. You know what? As I said a couple of weeks ago, folks, we don't do a collection to pay the keep the lights on. We're going to keep the lights on. We do this to support our programs and taking the teaching out into the world because it makes a difference. So for our love stream people, you know the drill. For everyone else, I invite you to take your tithes, your gift, your offering, your donation. Hold it to your heart. And let's say our conscious giving affirmation together. I live in a universe of abundance. As I freely and joyfully give, I join in the divine flow. And all that I give returns to me multiplied abundantly. I am so blessed 
And so it is, and so it is, and we sing the song, it's a new one, if you're new, if you haven't been here for a while, this is a new song, so let's stand up and sing, and Steph and I are going to teach it to you. Gratitude before me, gratitude behind me. Got it to the left of me, got it to the right of me, got it to above me, got it to below me, got it to within me, got it all around me. I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful. So grateful, I'm so grateful. Gratitude before me, gratitude behind me, gratitude to the left of me, gratitude to the right of me, gratitude above me, gratitude below me, gratitude within me, gratitude all around me. I'm so grateful. Gratitude to the left of me, gratitude to the right of me, gratitude above me, gratitude below me, gratitude within me, gratitude all around me. I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful. about the rest of you, but with the hand motions. I live alone. My cats don't care. <laughs> so it's time to bring in the kids. Let's bring them on in. Miss Rachel. One, two, three. our teachers. Hi, Rachel. Hey, hey. Uh, oh my gosh. Could you imagine <laughs> if I had 12 children? Wow. <sighs> oh my goodness. We are blessed with an abundant group of intelligent little souls. This is the next generation. Woo! Angelica, just came Honk, 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 honk. Today we made affirmation. Sorry, I'm not supposed to say this. Before. Today we made affirmation tellers. And what are affirmation tellers? What did we do? We basically made fortune tellers, but instead of telling the fortune, we put affirmations. Yes. I remember so, those things. 
It was a lot of fun to teach 12 individuals how to fold and create these beautiful pieces, and they came up with their I am statements all on their own. So this will be a fun activity for the families, and if you get to interact with one of them today, play their little games. They're a lot of fun. Thank you so much for bringing these amazing children. We are always looking for volunteers. Speaking of, thank you so much to Marquita. I could not do Fun Day without Marquita, so thank you so much. And today we read a book about Ernest Holmes, and we have a lot of really good books available in the Soul Shop for families or adult readers, so please pop by the Soul Shop and have a lovely Sunday. It's so gorgeous outside. Thank uh, you for being here. Thank you, Miss Rachel, and thank you, kids. We love having you here. So amazing. Okay, set your things down on the ground now because we're going to do our closing, you know, where we rub our hands together. So everybody, oh, I'm sorry, folks. I'm totally focused on the kids. You guys can join in too. So <laughs> let's rub our hands together and we're going to send our good energy out where it's needed, okay? There's some stuff going on in the world right now, so let's send it where it's needed on a count of three. One, two, three. Three. Woo! <laughs> Have a great week! Have a great week! Thanks so much for singing with me today, folks. Just want to remind you, if you uh, want to hear more, please do come see me outside. You can take a a CD or a vinyl, or you can get tickets to my big show um, next Friday, the 26th, at the Grand Theatre here in Calgary. This is a song called Always Come Back. It's about that sense of home that you can carry with you everywhere you go. I'm so tired of this routine. We stopped wondering what it means. Need to trade some gray for cream. Make a break and make it clean. We can always come back. So let's go down another road. Another town, another coast. Where the winding river flows Let's see where my story goes We can always come back We can always come back home We can always come back Throw your head back as you run and Turn your face toward the sun Let your shadow fall behind you Let the moment free your mind We can always come back We can always come back home We can always come back
Just dust and rubble everywhere I don't think I'd even care As long as you're with me, I swear We can always come back home Have a beautiful day, folks. Thanks for having me.